Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to check or validate that a string is a valid integer in JavaScript. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we are going to make a function. It's going to be function is valid integer and str. So function is there because we're making a function. We want to return a true or a false. True for being valid, false for being invalid. Is valid integer is for name. str is the one parameter we're going to pass in. This parameter is going to represent user input that we wish to validate to check if it is a valid integer or not. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to then do a try catch statement. So we're going to try some code. If an error occurs, instead of crashing the program, we will execute what's in the catch statement. Then we can carry on like normal. So if an error occurs, that means it's not a valid integer and therefore we can return a false but also print out what went wrong. Also a little heads up, this is going to work for all kinds of JavaScript projects. I'm doing the Node.js to make it really quick and simple to demonstrate how this works. You can use this for your web server or your Unity project or whatever you want to do. Our first step for checking if a string is a valid integer is to do const num equals parsint str and 10. This line is needed to convert the input string, which is str, into a number that can be used for further operations. The parsint function converts a string to an integer. And you might be thinking, okay, Max, that all makes sense, but why is there a 10 in there? Well, the 10 argument specifies that the string should be treated as a decimal number. Basically a number that's base 10, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. To give a bit more context, binary would be base 2, because you only have 0 and 1. Next we have a few lines of code. Now you can put all of this onto one line if you want to, but I think it's easier to digest and understand if we have this split up into multiple lines. But basically this is a return statement. We're going to return a true or a false to whatever we call the function. But there's a few more things we have to do to determine if the input is a valid integer or not. So we have got a bunch of AND operators and a bunch of statements here. And all of these statements are going to return a true or a false. With Boolean algebra, when you're adding up a bunch of Booleans, for the overall result to be true, everything must be true. If there's at least one false you're adding, then the entire overall outcome becomes a false. So let's go and break this down. The first one we're going to do is we're going to do exclamation mark is nan num and. This condition is needed to check if the input string can be successfully passed into a number. Because what happens here is if we get, if we try to pass something that's not a number up here, the, like the program's not going to crash. What's going to actually happen is num will be have the value of nan, which is short for not a number. So we're actually just checking here if what num is, is not a number. Sounds a bit weird to say, I'm going to be honest. So basically, this condition is needed to check if the input string can be successfully passed into a number. If num, which is our variable, is nan, it means that the input string contains non-numeric characters and cannot be converted into a number. Therefore, we do need to check this if we're checking for a valid integer. The next line is number dot is integer num and. This condition is needed to check if the passed number is an integer. If num is not an integer, then the input string is not a valid integer. This means it probably has a decimal point in there somewhere. Since we want an integer and not just any old number, if this is false, that means I don't care if this is a valid number, it's not a valid integer. Then we do str.trim, not double equals, two apostrophes and an and. This condition is needed to check if the input string has any non-white space characters. The trim function removes any white space characters, like spaces, tabs, from the beginning and end of the string. If the resulting string is an empty string, basically there's no characters, the user literally just entered nothing, it means the input string only contains white spaces and is therefore not a valid integer. This is basically a bit like a presence check. Like you can't have a valid number if there's nothing there, even imaginary numbers, which you might think, oh, it's clearly just something up in your mind, that they actually like have numbers. Then we do str triple equals num dot two string and. This condition is needed to check if the input string and the past number have the same value. 
If they are not equal, it means that the input string contains leading zeros, which could be like a bunch of zeros before the number five, instead of just being the number five. This is to ensure we don't have any zero padding on the front. Now we can have zeros after, that's fine. But beforehand, that's not a valid integer. Then we do exclamation mark str dot includes dot. This condition is needed to check if the input string contains a decimal point. If it does contain a decimal point, it means that the input string is not a valid integer, but it's like a floating point number or a double. Then you do your bracket and semicolon. And that's basically it for this tutorial. So let's look at how we could call this function. So what we can do is we can do console.log is valid integer, then we pass in a string that has a value we want to validate. You can call this function wherever you want, but I'm going to call it inside this to print out the result to the screen. Now, if you're in Node.js, you might be thinking, Max, the console's going to close instantly. And you'd be correct. But we can do a quick thing to stop that. So, we're going to call a function called keep console open. There'll be some code in the description you can copy and paste. Just put that at the bottom here. Literally, there's an I up in the corner if you want a tutorial explaining this, but this function will just keep the console open if you're on Node.js and want to know how to do so. With that out of the way, let's hit play after saving our work, and we get a false. Which is good, minus 3.1 isn't a valid integer. So, I have just added a bunch of console log statements, and we're going to be calling this function with a wide variety of inputs, just to demonstrate that this does work. Including a subscribe please, which you should totally do. Let's save our work and hit play. Let's go through what should and shouldn't work. Minus 3.1 is a decimal. Minus 5 is valid. 3 is valid. 30 is valid. Plus 3 is invalid. 3 plus 3 is invalid. 3 minus 3 is invalid. 030 is invalid. 3.0 is invalid. Space is invalid. 3 minus 1 is invalid. Subscribe please is invalid, but something you should do. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. 